and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we're taking a look at the new stamp set, Snow Much Fun. This stamp set has some cute bears making snow angels in the snow, but you can also make these bears hold things like the present or the heart. There's a cute little scarf to decorate them for the holidays and some fun greetings as well. There are coordinating dies that go with this and you'll see there's a special die in this set to help us make the bear's arms wave. I'm also going to be using the new waving pull tab starter set in this video. This die set comes separately and it allows you to make a pull tab card where the bear's arms wave up and down. Now this is a starter set because in the future we have some plans to make some other products that coordinate with this that use that waving function as well. First let's take a look at the bears and how you assemble them. This stamp set is a little different. If you'll notice that large bear there, he doesn't have any arms. But that's because there are a couple options on how you can give him some arms and make him do the poses that you want. So I've just cut out some bears here. I've stamped them out on some craft card stock and I've cut them out. And then I'm going to show you the three ways in which you can create your bear. So you can stamp that one that just has the arms and you can see the die there will cut out his arms so that he can hold things. When you use this bear, all you do is layer the heads. They're going to line up perfectly right on top of each other. And then whatever the bear holds is going to slide behind those arms and they're going to cover up the line between the two pieces of paper. So I just had a leaf on my desk and that's what he's going to hold here. So that's the first option to make a bear. The second option is to use these little arms that look disconnected when you stamp them, but when you die cut them, they're all one piece. You're just gonna add a little bit of adhesive between the two arms and he can have his arms either up or down, depending on what you want to do. And all you do is layer it behind the bear's body. And then the third option is to use the pull tab function. So there is a single arm in there that you can stamp out and there are two different dies that you use to cut them. Those dies will cut a hole and also an X. So let's talk about the pull tab and how you create this pull tab. This little die here comes with the Snow Much Fun set and that's what you're gonna use to cut the slots for the arms. Now in the pull tab starter set, there is this one that cuts the notch at the top of your paper. You just line up that bar against the top of the paper and hold it in place. This die set also comes with this little template here that's cut from stenciling material. So that curve at the top is going to fit right around the notch of that die. And then that little piece that came with the bears that cuts the two slots is going to fit in the notch at the bottom, the square notch. So that is just a guide to help you line these up where they need to be. Then you can run that through your die cut machine and it will cut those in the right place. Now to work on the pull tab, there's a hole that's cut out as well as a score line. For your little arms, you cut one of each and the X marks the top of the arm. So you wanna make sure the X's are at the top. I'm gonna to use a really small brad here and I'm gonna put that brad through my tab first. Then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm going to feed that brad through the holes in the arms. Again, making sure that the X is at the top. And you're just gonna stack them like that and once you have all those on there, you can open up that brad to hold them in place. Now you're gonna take your panel that you cut with the notch and the slots, flip it over to the back side and you're going to thread the arms through those slots. So you wanna make sure that that tab is even with the top of your panel. And then you're gonna take this little brace piece. It has some score lines as well. You're gonna to wanna to fold along those. This is gonna hold that tab in place. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of adhesive on the back side of it. You're gonna slide it behind your tab and you're gonna line it up underneath those little notches that stick out and with that score line that you see on the tab. So that's your guide as to where this goes. 
So you want to line it up with the bottom of these little tabs that stick out and then the score line that the die put the impression. I'm just going to mark it with my pencil so you can see it is right there. So you want to put your little brace between those two parts. And then I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive just to that tab and we're going to fold it over and create that little pocket for our tab to slide in. There's also a die that cuts a decorative piece to go at the top of the tab. This of course has the little arrow showing you what to do and which direction to pull. And I'm just going to go ahead and add that to the top of my tab. And then now you can see when you pull it how those little arms are going to move. Finally, you're going to add the bear. And you're just going to put some adhesive right between those arms. And you're just going to layer him right on top. So this is the third way to create a bear with those little waving arms, which is just too cute. So that's what I'm going to do in my first card today. I'm going to make a waving pull tab card. And I'm using the same bear cut from craft cardstock. I stamped it in walnut ink and I have the two little arms there. I'm also going to use some paper from the Let It Shine paper collection. So I'm going to be using the pink stripe and the cream with the gold flecks. So I've cut these out with some stitched rectangles and I'm just going to go ahead and put that pink, actually I didn't use the stripe side, I used the dotted side. I'm going to layer that onto my card base. That's going to be my background and it's going to create a border. And then this is going to be my panel with my pull tab. So again, as before, I'm taking that pull tab with the guide, the bar, I'm putting it right against the top of my paper so that I have that notch centered. I'm going to use the guide, which tells me where to put that other die that's going to cut my slots. And I'm going to run that through my die cut machine. I'm going to take this pull tab, which I should have cut from cream cardstock to match my background, but I didn't think about it. I'm going to put the brad through, then I'm going to layer the two arms on top of it, making sure that the X is on the top part of the arm. And then I'm going to open up that brad. So now I can thread the arms through my background panel. So once I've got those threaded through, I can push my tab down to where it's even with the top of my panel. So that's the starting position for these arms. And then I'm actually going to do some stamping on this. So I'm going to use the stamp that does the outline of a snow angel. And I'm using my Misty to line it up in the right place. Because there's a brad on the back of this and it's not flat, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those arms out of the slots when I do my stamping. So I just want to line it up with my tool so I know it's in the right place to go with where the bear's body and the arms are going to go. I'm going to pull those arms back out just for a minute to do my stamping. And then I'm going to stamp down this outline of the snow angel with some narwhal ink. So now I can reassemble my card by putting those arms through the slots once more. And I'm going to make sure that the top of the tab is aligned with the top of my panel. I'm going to take that little brace again. I'm going to line it up with the top with those little notches that stick out and the bottom with the score line that's on the tab. I'm going to fold it over and create that little slot for it to slide in. Now I'm going to work on decorating this panel a little bit and I'm using the new snowflake border die. Excuse my head, I'm trying to line this up. 
So this cuts some really delicate snowflakes along a line and you can make the border as thick as you want. So it's only going to cut one line. It's not going to cut an actual line like the line border dies, the sentiments do. So it's a little different and it looks super pretty out of this glitter cardstock. It also looks amazing out of the new metallic cardstock. So you can see how I made sort of a fatter border on the edge of mine. And I'm just going to add a little bit of liquid glue to the back of these, just some dots. And then I'm going to layer this on each side of my panel going down the left and the right. So it's going to create a border on each side. The layout for this card was inspired by a card by Jen, which I'll show you at the end of the video. But I changed up my colors a little bit from hers. So this is cut a little longer than I needed, but I just wanted it longer so I could move it around a little bit and have a little bit of wiggle room. And I'll just trim off that excess. So I've gone ahead and added glue to the other piece. And the way I got these even was I cut my pieces of gold um, cardstock to be the same width. So then I could just line up the ends of my snowflakes with the outer edge and I knew that the big fat border on the back side or on the other side was going to be the same. So now that those are in place, I'm just going to trim off the excess that's overhanging. I'm also going to stamp out the scarf on some of the coordinating paper from Let It Shine and I used the die to cut it out just to add that bright pink scarf to my little bear. I'm also going to use some of that teal with the gold dot for my little tab and you can see how I wished I had made this tab cream which I actually reinforced it with a piece of cream later just because the white was bothering me. <laughs> And then I'm also dropping a dark teal of that little arrow into the hole. Again, because I didn't want to see the white. I've added some foam adhesive to the back of this panel on either side, making sure to avoid the middle because that's where that tab is and that's where it needs to move. And then I'm just going to center this up in my, on my card where I've already put that pink pattern paper. So I love this gold foil with the gold glitter, and I love the gold and pink together. I just think it's super pretty. So I'm just testing, make sure my tab's still moving. And now I can add my little bear. So I'm just going to add some adhesive right down the center, right between the arms, and just line him up. And then now he's making snow angels. It's too cute. So for my sentiment, I'm just using some of that teal colored spiffy speckles paper, just a scrap of it. I'm stamping out the sentiment, love ya, snow much. And I'm stamping them in three different pieces and I'm just cutting off strips with each one that I stamp. And then I'll just trim each of those strips down to just be the words. So I'm just kind of making little blocks of letters to create my sentiment. And I'm just adding some thin foam adhesive to pop it up just a little bit. So this kind of coordinates a little bit with the teal of the tab at the top. It's not the exact same paper, but it's the same colors and it really ties it in a little bit more. And now my card is all finished and I just love that bear making snow angels that is so cute and I can't wait to see the cards you guys are going to make with this new pull tab. I just think they're going to be so much fun. So for my second card I'm actually going to make a fall card. I know this set is really meant for snow but it can be used for lots of things. So I've gone ahead and colored and cut out my little bears and then I'm going to use this pile of leaves from the Jump for Joy stamp set. I have already stamped out a bunch of piles of leaves and I stamped these in the crunchy leaf ink. So they're not going to be quite as bold as my bears that have the black outline. This has that brown outline. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to color all these piles of leaves because I'm going to make a giant 
leaf pile. So I need all these leaves. And I'm just going in and coloring them with different reds. And I'm using two colors for each leaf. So I'm going to color it with my lighter of the colors and then go in and give it a little bit of shading at the bottom. I'm going to do yellows and I'm also going to do orange. And then where I have some leaves that are going to touch each other, you can see how I was going to have two oranges that touched. I actually just went in with that darker orange that I have here and made a darker orange and then did some red for the shading. So I ended up with sort of four different leaves that I was creating. But once I have all these colored, I cut them out with the coordinating dies and now I'm going to create my card. So I've got some watercolor wishes green. This is going to be the green grass. And I'm going to use so much fun from this stamp set and then bring in the your from the thanks, thanks, thanks stamp set so that it says you're so much fun. So you can use the word snow if it's a snow themed card, but there's also just the plain so, so that you can make other cards with it as well. So I'm stamping that in the top left corner because I'm going to fill the rest of this with the leaves and the bears. So the idea behind this card was what else might these bears be playing with other than in the snow. And when I was a kid, we used to rake up all the leaves in the yard and then we would jump in the big pile of leaves. So that was the inspiration for this card today. I put that bear's arms blared on the back and this time I want his arms up because he's, you know, jumping the leaves. He's excited. And then I'm going to layer my green onto a craft card base. And then I can start arranging my bears. So this family of bears has raked up all the leaves. It's like my dad and me and my sister. After we raked up all the leaves, we jumped in the big pile of leaves. So I'm just placed them on there kind of where I want them so I can figure out where all these piles of leaves go to create this big pile of leaves that I want. And now I'm going to go ahead and add some liquid glue now that I sort of know where they need to be and just put them onto my card. So you can see I'm sort of adjusting as I go, but I'm leaving them in their place so that I don't get them out of place. And I still have this nice pile of leaves that comes out on all sides of my bears. So I actually ended up using seven piles of leaves to create this. I had six and I was worried that wouldn't be enough. And the seven piles really worked out because it covered up a lot of the green. And then each of the bears I had on some foam squares. So I just went ahead and stuck them down. So they're kind of popped up off the leaves. And then I also colored some of the single leaves to just sort of scatter around. And then this card is all finished. Super simple bears and leaves and nothing else. And it's just so cute and makes me ready for fall. For my last card, I'm going to show you that you can combine the Snow Much Fun with the Den Sweet Den Bears. These coordinate together and you can make a big bear family. I'm going to use some paper from Let It Shine and I've cut a stitched square out of that cream stripe and also out of that dark aqua dot. I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment along the bottom and I'm actually using Season's Greetings from Snow Much Fun and then from Our Den to Yours from Den Sweet Den. So I'm combining my greetings as well on this card. And once I get that lined up where I want it, I'm just going to go ahead and stamp that. And I'm stamping it first before I die cut so that I know I have my spacing correct. So I can take this simple stitch hillside, I'm just going to cut it off the top of this and that's going to be the ground for all my bears to sit on. I'm going to go ahead and layer it onto that cream stripe square that I cut.
and then I'm just going to pop this up with some foam tape onto a square card base cut from raspberry cardstock. So I've gone ahead and I've stamped out all my bears and colored them. For this one, I'm using the one that has the paws in the front where he can hold things so that he can hold this heart. So this heart is part of the Snow Much Fun set. And you can see I also have a book there that the other bear is going to hold. So you can interchange the things they can hold and get even more looks and scenes out of your sets. So I'm adding that book to the other bear's hands. And I'm going to layer this one together. And then I'm just going to kind of lay them out how I want them on the card. So I have an idea of where they need to be. So I'm going to take some foam squares for the two large bears and go ahead and center them up towards the center. And then I'll build around them with the smaller bears. I'm going to add some thicker foam squares to my small bears that are kind of up front. And then I just love this little one that's just going to be popping out of the back. I did pull up the heads of the two in the front so that I could get him slid behind there underneath the foam squares. And then to finish it off, I took the little snowflakes from Snow Much Fun and I'm stamping them in guava ink just to kind of fill the spaces around the bears and add some more holiday fill to the card. And now my card is all finished. It's simple, but I love all those bears. Now let's take a look at some examples from the design team. Tammy created this fun slimline card with all those bears having all that fun in the snow. I love that bear behind the hill of snow. I just think it's so cute. Grace created a pull tab card. I love the rainbow scarves on these bears and I also love her use of the stitched in in the corner where those two bears stayed inside while the rest were playing out in the snow. Lynette created another fun slimline card, and I just think that it's so funny that that bear in the middle took his coffee out to make snow angels. And then Audrey created this fun card using that little bear to replace the O in the word snow, and I just love the look of that. Elise got super creative and used those little dumbbells from one of the planner sets to create a bear that's working out lifting weights, and I just think that is so clever. Think of all the things these little bears could hold. I love Elena's card and how she created that three-dimensional look of the snow angels by die cutting them behind and then layering it using some foam. Grace's card is super sweet. I love that she made a fall card and I love the colors of her background and her use of the lift the flat tree backdrops too. Megan also created a fall card and she also used the lift the flap trees to create her little scene. And I just love the surprise when you open up those little flaps and you see that sleeping bear and the sleeping squirrel. I also love the colors she used for her fall leaves. Who would have thought to use purple? It looks so cute. Here's Jen's card that inspired the card that I created in today's video. I love the simple layout of this card, but then you have the cool element of the waving arms making the snow angel. And I love the bright green she used for Christmas. Thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.